So two years back, I tried making the LoRa van based GPS tracker and I got success in making that as well. But in that tracker, I was only able to track my location within the range of my LoRa van gateway. And at that time, I thought I'll be definitely making a better version of a LoRa van gateway. And so I made this project right now as in future, I'm definitely planning to get a new and advanced outdoor LoRa gateway for better range. Now, in 2023, I got an amazing product for LoRa based tracking. So I'm talking about the Sensecap T1000 tracker from Seed Studio, which is a credit card size device for both indoor and outdoor positioning and much more. Other than its technology, we'll also be covering about how to use this device. And in the end, I'll be showing you a short demo about how we can track our location using this device and visualize it in a mobile application. So you will be learning a lot of new things about this LoRa based tracker in this video. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by LTM and they came up with an amazing product called as LTM 365. So LTM 365 is an electronics product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAD, data management and teamwork. So with LTM 365, you can do the PCB designing task. You can share your projects over web for review purposes. It do cover sharing your PCB file to mechanical team so that they can create the mechanical product package based on your PCB. Then it also provides centralized cloud storage so you don't need to rely on one single computer for your files. It also helps you with managing your components and get real time supply chain data for your components. It also allows multiple people to work on single project. And in the end, it also helps you with sending your design to final manufacturing units. So LTM 365 takes care of all other tasks so you put more time and effort in making something creative and useful. And the good part is you can try out its free version as well. I'll leave its free trial version link down in the description of this video so do check that out. And now let us start with this video. So this is the Sensecap T1000A model. Along with this device, you'll also get a USB magnetic charging cable that we can attach on the back of the module to charge it up. Now, if we're talking detail about this device, then this device is based on Semtech LR1110 LoRa Trans Receiver module, which has worldwide ISM frequency band support, and it also supports GNSS and Wi-Fi geolocation application. This device do have built-in Bluetooth 5.1 connectivity, temperature sensor, light sensor, and a 3-axis accelerometer. It do have a button to operate it and an LED and buzzer for indication. Now, to power them up, it is packed with a 700 mAh battery and the best part, all this comes in a very compact form factor of just 85 by 55 by 6.5 mm size with proper casing which is IP65 dust and water resistance. So those were the amazing specifications of this device. Now, let me guide you how to use it and for that, you'll need a LoRa van gateway with you. So here I'm using my Sensecap M1 gateway, but you can use any other LoRa van gateway that works with either Helium or the Things Network. But the process is quite smooth with this Sensecap gateway as both the products are from Seed Studio. And the great part is it works with Helium network. Now for all those who don't know what Helium actually is, then Helium is the people's network where we all can build the network which can be used by us and the community. It's specifically built for IoT devices so that our devices can send and receive data without relying on Wi-Fi or cellular network. And it has way better range than Wi-Fi and it costs very, very less than the regular cellular data packs. And hence it is believed that this will be the future of connectivity for our IoT devices. Plus all those people who install LoRaWAN gateway at their location and start running it in Helium network, well, they get paid for every data transfer happened through their LoRaWAN gateway in form of cryptocurrency called as HNT or Helium network tokens. So all this factor makes Helium quite a popular network and there are chances that you already have Helium network coverage around you. And to check that, you can go to this website whose link you can find in the description of this video. And here you can see the number of Helium based gateways around the world and it is increasing on daily basis. And in case you have the Sensecap gateway that works on Helium nearby your location, well, you don't need to have the LoRaWAN gateway with you and still you can start using this T1000 tracker. How awesome it is, right? So yeah, that was all about the Helium network and LoRaWAN gateways. Now, let me show you how to configure the T1000 tracker. 
So first make sure you are nearby the Sanscape gateway and after that in your smartphone you need to install the Sanscape application whose link I'll be providing in the description of this video. Just open this application and first you need to register your account here. I already registered so I'll quickly log into my account. Here click on this plus icon and click on add device. So now I will scan the QR code of the device. Now we can give the device a name. Let me give it as Techie SMS. Group will be a default and it automatically got the location. I'll click on bind to account. Click on configure now. And it says we need to uh, press and hold the button till the LED uh, starts blinking. Okay, so now it is in configuration mode. I'll click on the ready to go for the next step. It's scanning nearby tracker and it already found our tracker. I'll click on it. Let's go for advanced configuration. Okay, and as you can see, we got all the details of this tracker like the device EUI and the software version, hardware version and everything. Okay, now here if I click on the measure button, I'll be able to see the current temperature uh, uh, value and the light intensity. Okay, so these are the sensors data which is inside this device. Okay, after that we'll go inside the settings and here you need to do a couple of settings. First of all, you need to select which platform you'll be using. So I'll be using the Sanscape for Helium. So I'll select this. In case you're using the Things Network, you have to select this and in case you are using the Things Network, in sense cap uh, gateway you need to say, uh, select this option i'll select this for my uh, case after that here you need to select the frequency plan now as i live in india i'll select this in865 you have to select the frequency according to your location after that we'll go inside the work mode and here uh, we'll change the uplink interval to five so this is the amount of time uh, the device will take to send the next reading okay so i want the next reading at every one minute let's just say for example so i want uh, the next data or new data after every one minute so now uh, you need to select this interval based upon your application if you select higher interval uh, the battery will last much more longer and if you select less interval you'll be able to get the data frequently okay so that's the setting after that we'll go into the geolocation and here you can select uh, Wi-Fi plus GNSS. OK, so now this option will help you to uh, track this tracker both indoors and outdoors. So indoors it will be tracking via Wi-Fi and outdoors it will be tracking via GNSS or we can say GPS. Uh, that's pretty much it. Now we'll click on the send button to send the data to this device and it is successfully configured. And as you can see, we are able to see our device, which is named at Techie SMS on the home screen. If I click on this device, it is showing. OK, so I also got a beep or the sound which reveals that this device is successfully connected with the LoRaWAN gateway. OK, and on the app, I'm also able to see the temperature data and the light intensity data along with its current location, which is nothing but my studio's location. And here, if I click on the history button, it will show me the uh, history like the previous data which is stored inside this device itself regarding the location, temperature and light intensity, everything. Okay. As you can see, this is the data. We can sort it by the week, by the month, according to our use cases. Okay. So that's how you have successfully configured it. Now, let me tell you a couple of features uh, of this tracker. So when you press this button for the one single time, okay, it will send the data immediately to the uh, cloud and on the application, we'll be able to see the current location data. Okay. Once the data is sent to the cloud, we'll be able to hear a beep from the tracker let us wait for it okay so we got the beep sound here and if i click on the refresh button okay as you can see we got the data based upon the mac address because this we are inside our studio so it is not able to get the gnss or the gps data to it uh, so it uh, got the uh, what we can say location of my router and also it got the uh, no mac address of my router so this time it got the location data based upon the wi-fi and not the gps okay now there is one more feature on this device called as sos feature so when you uh, press this button uh, two times quickly okay the sos features or the sos mode turns on it will quickly send the data to the cloud with an sos symbol in the application okay as you can see the sos uh, is triggered just now okay so this feature we can use in case of some emergency okay and if we don't press the button it will send the data based on the uplink time interval in our case every one minute and on the main page you'll be able to see all the data like if i swipe right here as you can see, I can see the battery percentage, the temperature value and the light intensity on the main page itself. And also I can see the device is online. And in case you want to turn this tracker off, you just need to press and hold this button for nine seconds and it will power off with a beep.
okay so this device is now powered off and to power it on you just need to press and hold for uh, three seconds it will power it on okay so it got powered on okay now in case uh, it got disconnected from your LoRaWAN gateway and you want to get it connected with some other LoRaWAN gateway what you can do is you can just press and hold this button for three times uh, until the LED starts blinking okay so as you can see the LED starts blinking and after that you need to press it one more time and it will go into the breathing mode as you can see the LED is now in breathing state so it is uh, searching for the nearby LoRaWAN gateways and once it get connected it will uh, buzz the buzzer Okay, so it got successfully connected to the LoRaWAN gateway. So that's how you can quickly start with this T1000 tracker. And with this, we are done with the configuration of this tracker. And now let's move outside and see if we are getting the exact location or not. Well, I'm back at the studio after testing the range of this. So I got a range of around one and a half kilometer using just a single LoRaWAN gateway. Well, I was not having the Helium network coverage in my area, so I didn't get much wider range. In case if you have the Helium network coverage around you, well, range is not an issue with this kind of tracker, okay? And let me tell you one more thing. This tracker can be used for multiple purposes. Like, definitely you can use it for personal tracking, like if you want to track your loved ones. It can also be used by businesses for tracking their goods and parcels. It can also be used by some group of people like if you are an organizer of a hiking event, you can use one single uh, Helium gateway and can give this kind of tracker to all the participants and you can know their exact location with the timestamps. So this Sense T1000 board got a lot of use cases in a very small form factor. So that was the T1000 LoRa based tracker and with this I can feel that LoRa is here to stay and it will be everywhere in the IoT industry. Like this little small device is the best LoRa based IoT device that I have ever tested. And this device is not just for personal tracking rather it will be really very useful in the industry for asset tracking. Let me give you an example. Suppose you are transporting a drug or fruit which need to be kept under a specific temperature. So this device will not only help you to track that asset but it will also help you to monitor its temperature in real time. And in case if someone opens the door in between you can still track that with the help of the light sensor built in. And as I told before it can also track indoor with the help of Wi-Fi routers and BLE beacons which make it way more useful. So I totally love this LoRa based device and I hope you like it too and if is it so, do click the like button and let me and YouTube algorithm know that this product and video were totally good and worth watching. And also do let me know your genuine suggestion about this product down in the comments of the video like what is good in it, what is bad in it and will you be considering it for your like asset tracking or personal location tracking share your thoughts down in the comment of the video and as usual do subscribe our channel for more such uh, interesting videos about new and latest iot products and yeah that being said i am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video until then explore and share with me techie sms